Okay, so I'm going to show one more. This is a Hail Mary I don't want you to get good at. If you get good at it, it's, just, it's not a good sign because it's, it is as late as it gets. But I had a student many years ago who was really good at this, and they would, the black belts would come from out of town and stuff and get him in an arm lock, and he would always escape using this escape. But the problem was he got really good at that because he'd get arm locked a lot, right? So the real problem, the real solution should have been earlier and not getting caught in those arm locks. But this is your last ditch escape, okay? We'll, we'll end with this and we're gonna put it together where you can do all of them in a drill and then we'll work from the other person's perspective. So Liam arm locks me. And I'll go here and he starts to break the grip. When my grip gets broken, I'm going to do escape using a hitchhiker escape. You can give me weight with your legs. Um, be heavy like you normally would. Uh -uh. Nice, good, solid base. Now break my grip. So if he breaks my grip, my hand goes up, I turn towards his feet, and I gotta walk. Yeah. As I walk, I'm keeping my head down because you see if I lift my head up right away, there's a potential triangle. So his head, his leg is staying on the ground. If that leg lifts up at all, then I'm going to pass this direction. Okay? If it doesn't, before I pop my head up, I'm going to put my other arm up. But we'll go through it slow. So go. It's really pretty simple. Two things I'm doing. As soon as I feel this grip breaks, I want to grab this leg. He wants to take it here, I want to go here real quick. Now I turn towards his feet, and I walk. I just walk, okay? And that's the direction I'm going to get up. Good. Here, let me do it to you, man. <laughs> Grab my leg, now turn towards my feet. Now walk, 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 walk. Good, now lift your head up. Pass. That's what, it, that's what it should look like. All right, one more time. Over here, hitchhiker skip. I'm going to show you guys how to counter this as well. It's easy to counter. This is where you don't want to rely on this. But I break the grip. I'm about to break your arm. Go. Walk, 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 keep walking, keep walking, keep my head up. I'll go the other way. That's it. Okay? As soon as that grip breaks, it's here, and that's your way out. Okay? Go ahead and give it a shot. Two things on this escape. It's called the hitchhiker escape because you do this. It's like you're hitchhiking, right? So before my arm breaks, I'm going to turn it that way real quick. That won't work if he's hanging on to my wrist correctly. Okay? That's why this is not an escape you want to rely on. This is just the last ditch escape. For somebody that's just a big person that's just pulling super hard, maybe you'll get it if it's somebody technical. He has good control of your arm, it's hard. But I have to turn to face his feet also, which will help. So I'm take the arm. So I go here and I turn my body this way, right? As I walk. As I walk out. So as your as your arm goes here, I'm looking and I'm on my side a little bit. Like Homer Simpson, right? Running on the ground like this. That's okay. And you're just gonna keep running. So your head pops out, and then you lift up and pass. Okay. Now, I'm going to do another round, slightly longer, and you can use all these escapes. Okay? Early one is best. If you're a little late between the legs, pop it up, feed your hand, put the leg between your, put their bottom leg between your legs, whichever one you want to do. Okay? Not every time. Random, let them get a couple arm bars and then work any of these escapes you want. If you want to throw a hitchhiker in, you can throw that in the mix too. I wouldn't do too many, okay? I'll take a little switch. Let's go. So if you're doing this one consistently, the way we're doing it in practice today, when we switch to the slower one where you have more basic posture, it's going to be pretty easy. But on this arm bar, the two big mistakes people make, number one, your butt can never touch the mat before the legs over the head. Okay, that rule, we're all arm locks. Leg needs to be in front of their face before your hips touch the mat. And the second thing is just a mistake of with your legs being loose, right? Having your legs straight. You're not pulling your heels to your butt. So as long as the leg is over their head first and then you tighten everything up with your hamstrings, you're good. So it's good practice for the top person also, right? Okay, switch.
Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for frequent updates because we're updating this every week. And make sure you comment and like and share our videos. We appreciate it and we definitely try and respond to all the comments. And if you like what we're doing and you like the material, check out SPG University, SPGU, uh, and you're going to see a ton more uh, in, in much greater depth than what you see here on YouTube. Thank you very much.